Welcome to part six of our seven part series on anticoagulants. In this video, we discuss the direct factor 10A inhibitors. Let's begin with the following take home points. Direct 10A inhibitors block the action of factor 10A. Oral 10A inhibitors include apixaban, adoxaban, and rivaroxaban. Parenteral 10A inhibitors are low molecular weight heparin and fondaparinox. Let's start a discussion with a brief review of the coagulation cascade. To initiate coagulation, tissue factor combines with factor 7 to activate it to 7A and form the tissue factor factor 7A complex, which acts on factor 10 to activate it to 10A. 10A acts in the presence of its cofactor 5A to activate prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin then converts fibrinogen to fibrin. Let's also bring in part of the intrinsic pathway with factor 9 acting in the presence of its cofactor 8A to activate 10 to 10A. The factor 10A inhibitors work directly against factor 10A to inhibit its activity, thus turning off thrombin generation and fibrin formation. Examples of direct factor 10A inhibitors include the oral agents apixaban, adoxaban, and rivaroxaban. They also include the parenteral agents, low molecular weight heparins, and fondaparinox. Because we have previously discussed the parenteral agents, in this video we will focus our attention on the oral agents. Oral agents currently available in the United States include apixaban, adoxaban, and rivaroxaban. Apixaban undergoes hepatic metabolism. It has an elimination half-life of about 12 hours. Once administered, it peaks in about 3 to 4 hours. Apixaban is indicated in venous thromboembolism prophylaxis and in venous thromboembolism treatment. It is also indicated in the management of atrial fibrillation. Adoxaban undergoes minimal hydrolysis, being excreted in the feces, yes, poop, and urine. It has an elimination half-life of about 10 to 14 hours. After administration, it peaks in about 1 to 2 hours. Adoxaban is also indicated in venous thromboembolism treatment and in the management of atrial fibrillation. Rivaroxaban undergoes hepatic metabolism. It has an elimination half-life of about 5 to 9 hours. After oral administration, it peaks in about 2 to 4 hours. Rivaroxaban is indicated in venous thromboembolism prophylaxis and in venous thromboembolism treatment. It is also indicated in the management of atrial fibrillation. All oral factor 10A inhibitors undergo reversal by indexinate alpha. In summary, direct 10A inhibitors block the action of factor 10A. Oral 10A inhibitors include apixaban, adoxaban, and rivaroxaban. And the parenteral 10A inhibitors are low molecular weight heparin and fondaparinox. We have come to the end of our video on anticoagulants, a focus on direct factor 10A inhibitors.